All right. So we've got cobwebs in our face. So very bad year for Hodu's bottle gourds, guys. Look at the size of this guy. So just gonna chop it. Ready? Come on. That's one. That is heavy. There's another one. Let's see. Hello. So we grew one slightly different this year. This particular plant, it grew loads of these, but this is the only one that stays. It was just too cold. It's a joke this year. There we are. Look at that. There's one, guys. So we got a lot of tomatoes this year guys, I had too many plants, I had to put them everywhere. And these are these mini baby bell type ones. But I tell you what, my greenhouses, they all helped. Now these are gardener's delight guys, just mix them up because I just use them for the same. And I can tell the difference, slightly bigger, whoa there's some here. I'll carry on picking these and I'll show you. If you get orange, see that's red and that's orange guys. Orange ones, put them on the window seal sunny windowsill and they will turn like this in a few days time all right so there's a little gardening tip That's today's harvest guys, a lot more to pick and we've pick, we have been picking a lot more gradually over the last few weeks. So now let's see how much I can carry. one of my neighbors she didn't want it anymore it was quite small when she gave it to me but I've looked after it and it's grown and I might share some of the blueberries with her this year so blueberries guys that's about one third of how much we've got on the blueberry bush tree So you pick the biggest, juiciest, softest berries. So with the help of my daughter, we've picked all the blackcurrant guys. One of them has almost become a marrow now. Can you see that? Am I in there? Yep. Oh my 
Let me just cut it there. Here we go. Oh, check him out. Check this guy out. Look at that. That's what made it. Here he comes. Now, there's mother hand, my hand. Look how big these guys are. Marrows, Gem's hand. <laughs> they are big and heavy. So, this is one. I'm gonna give these away to family and friends. This one's actually even got stuck here. And, and slugs are loving, not the marrows, but the plant, too. Because they can be quite prickly. Three. I'm gonna pick some runner beans. Um, if you pick them nice and small, not too big, then they don't go hard, hard and chewy. So let's go. There's one here. Did he? There we are. Okay. And so there's one here, guys. You just cut it here. Lovely. Hey, you there? See, so they're quite hard to see. You have to move around and see quite a bit. So, got lots there. Yum, yum. Delicious. Some more. So, before we went away, guys, I picked two huge bunches of runner beans. And I come back, and another massive portion is ready. got the milder chilies round the corner all here but some of these are still hot guys really hot so this is our first one call this finger so we got all this chili from one plant plant number two plant number three I call this one marble guys I'll just take one out they're really round and I show you Really mild, absolutely lovely. You can have them in salads, stir fries, really nice. They start off green, then they go lovely orange. You can freeze chilies, guys. Bag them, freeze them, take them out as you need, not a problem. But with the naga, the really hot one I'm gonna show you, they're too big, you have to cut them. I usually cut them long ways into quarters before freezing them. This one guys, I reckon it became cross-pollinated with the naga, the really hot ones, and the finger ones. And it's become like a short stubby version, but really hot as well. Alright, now, let me take one off, here we are. Okay, now let me show you. Do you know how hot they are? They're hot. Chilies are us. Chilies. One plant. Three beautiful colors. Starts off green, goes orange, and then red. How can you not love chilies? Look at that color. Look at that. I just can't believe it. OMG, one colander, this is all the chili from one bad boy. By the way guys, this was from fruit number two, uh, tree number two of the chili hot ones. That's from one, there's the size of my hand. See the size of this bowl? These guys are so hot guys. Oh yeah, by the way, this was the last one. So that's how much I got from that one. Whoa, where's he gone? There, there, there. Now we got tomatoes mixed in here. So I'm gonna separate them. And see how that goes. 
Red tomatoes in one, orange in one. The orange ones will go in the windowsill so they can ripen sunny windowsill. All right, so let's do this. Red, orange. Okay, so we're good. So tomatoes to one side. We've had tons of tomatoes, guys, this year. All right, let's get the weighing guy. Well, hi guys, it's time to pick the apples. A um, few weeks ago, I picked all the small ones and there was about 40 or 50 of them. And I left 22 on there and we had a bit of a storm the other day and I saw one of them fall down. So it's time to pick them now. And um, what we got? There's one over there, just on top of the fence. Can you see? Just there. And the bird's been sitting there and eating that one. So I'm gonna leave that one and all the others just to give you an idea for reference so have a look there they are and how you know is you just lift them up and they're not coming away but i'm gonna just force them off anyway there they are so first apples we've had this tree for three years and we got our first apples and they absolutely look brilliant <laughs> When picking apples guys, just make sure you don't bruise them and if they're bruised, then they won't store. You've got to have them quite quickly. So here you go guys, all the apples are picked. And the final thing to do guys is to taste it. Absolutely delicious. Amazing, this grew in the garden just by itself. Didn't have to do anything, beautiful.